Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more interesting contents. Title, Unraveling the Enigma, Expert Analysis of the Tragic Deaths of Three Kansas City Chiefs Fans Outside a Friend's Home. Expert Review. In a chilling turn of events, the inexplicable deaths of three avid Kansas City Chiefs fans, Ricky Johnson, Clayton McGinn, and David Harrington, have sent shockwaves through the community. The trio, who gathered to watch the Chiefs' regular season finale at a friend's home in Kansas City on January 7, met a tragic end just two days later, discovered lifeless and frozen outside the residence. This incident has raised numerous questions and stirred speculation, leaving families in search of answers and a cloud of mystery hanging over the circumstances surrounding the deaths. The unfolding of this grim narrative began amidst the celebratory atmosphere of a football watch party. The Kansas City Chiefs secured a close victory against the Chargers and Bami Los Angeles on January 7. However, back in Kansas City, with blizzard conditions and temperatures in the low 30s, the evening took a dark turn for Johnson, McGinn, and Harrington. The aftermath of the party saw the trio mysteriously vanish, prompting concern from family and friends. Two days later, the discovery of their lifeless bodies in the backyard of a friend's home deepened the mystery. Jonathan Price, Ricky Johnson's brother, expressed the family's anguish and desperation for clarity, rejecting the notion that the deaths were a result of mere exposure to freezing temperatures. The family, steadfast in their pursuit of truth, harbors suspicions surrounding the party host, Jordan Willis, challenging the narrative provided by him. Willis, who hosted the fateful gathering, claims innocence and professes ignorance regarding the presence of the bodies in his backyard for two days. According to his attorney, Willis believed the three friends had left his house during the early morning hours. Allegedly, he bid them farewell, presuming they exited through the front door. Willis, asserting his cooperation with the investigation, failed to respond to family attempts to contact him, citing sleep as the reason. However, skepticism looms large as Price adamantly disputes Willis's account, asserting a lack of credibility and truthfulness. As the brother of one of the victims, Price questions the plausibility of the story and raises the possibility of external factors, such as drug involvement, contributing to the tragic outcome. For the grieving families, the absence of a clear explanation compounds the trauma, hindering their ability to commence the healing process. The overarching question of how to find closure in the absence of understanding the events leading to their loved one's demise lingers heavily on their hearts. The investigation, currently awaiting the results of autopsies, holds the promise of shedding light on the circumstances surrounding these mysterious deaths. The community, grappling with shock and grief, anxiously awaits the outcome, seeking solace and closure for the families impacted by this inexplicable tragedy. The coming weeks may provide the much-needed answers, yet the baffling nature of the case continues to perplex both investigators and those left behind to mourn the untimely loss of three cherished lives.